Hey guys, as you can see, uh, not all of Brenda uh, uh, left yesterday. We've got, uh, <laughs> I cannot get this shit off. But what I'm going to talk to you about today is basically sport trap, fit ass, five stand, compact, anything that involves singles. And then you're moving on to pairs because I think it's something that's very, very easily overlooked, but also something that's very misunderstood. So whenever we're going to shoot a single, we're working on the basis that we're going to pick the very best spot to kill it. That's where we see it the clearest, okay? So from this diagram here, that's where we see this single the clearest, okay? Now, once I pick that as a single, I then pick a shot before it and a shot after it. So number two is always the best, number one and number three. So I've picked those three spots for a single shot. Now I'm gonna take two of those and make them become my single. Now I'm either gonna go early with the Hail Mary. If it breaks, it breaks, brilliant, well done. We've got a point. If it doesn't, I've still got the best shot left. If, uh, if I take number two and three, I've got the best shot first. If I miss it, I throw the Hail Mary and hopefully connect with the second barrel. But here's where people go wrong. I mean, the easiest way to explain that to you as an individual is, say, the reverse teal, okay? The reverse teal, here we stand, it's coming towards us. Now, we all probably know the best place to kill it is here. So we're either going to shoot it on the way up and then the top or the top and then down. So we have to make those choices. Now, this has serious impacts on our pairs. So say, for instance, I'll redraw this quickly for you. So I'm going to take on this drawing, I'm going to take number one and number two. OK, so I'm going to go with an early shot and then my best shot. So the barrels on here indicate my hold point, okay? So here's the machine. I'm going to hold here. I'm going to take an early shot. And I'm, if I miss it, I've got my best shot left. Now, let's say, for instance, I go with the early shot and bang, I'm successful, okay? Finished. We get a point. Now, in the double, what people tend to do is go to the perfect kill point. They're, they're not daft enough to not do that, but then they don't forget, well, they forget that now their hold point, if they start with their original hold point, is way out, but this is what they do. Or they tend to think, well, you know what? This shot worked, so I'll replicate it. And they don't. So singles and doubles are completely different. They are so different. You walk in there with a single cartridge for your double and two cartridges for your singles. So I'm, in my singles, I'm going to plan two shots. And in my double, I'm going to forget everything I did. And I'm now going to recreate a single barrel one-off shot with a new hold point, with a new method maybe. And it's quite interesting to watch even good students that shoot sporting very well but fall short on five stand and fit ass because and you, you hear it quite often that you know my singles are great and my doubles are poor or vice versa what you'll find is with a lot of people a lot of people's singles is that the best place to kill it is just here and they go here and here so they don't actually take one on the perfect spot. They go either side of it, rushing and, and then being too delayed because this spot was perfect. Because this would have felt unrushed. This would have felt terribly rushed and they don't feel comfortable to do it. So in your singles, you do have to come outside of your comfort zone. You say, you know what? I don't care if I miss with that first barrel if I go early because I've still got the good shot left. Or you do the opposite and you plan the perfect shot and then the Hail Mary afterwards, but don't get caught going either side of it and miss your singles, because then we've got to do something in the pairs. So singles and pairs are completely different. That covers singles and pairs on fit ass and compact. Then we're going to look at five stand, where regardless of where you are, if you go into station one, if you start in station one, say for instance, we're using the new snake system, 
okay and we go into station one and we've got this target coming across us here okay from station one we've got a nice quartering bird here we're probably going to drop in behind it with a little bit of swing through i'm going to have a nice shot here as my single then a second barrel will be over here and i remember that and i say okay that's good i've got this target fixed but somewhere along here the angle gets changed and by five Swing through is not the right angle. It's not the right angle for a swing through shot. So I'm going to have to change into pull away. So even on your um, on your five stand or your compact layout, don't think that because you master a target from cage one, or that could be cage two, three, four, or five, depending on where you start on what system we're using, you cannot use that system to break that target or use the same hold point from any other cage but that one. So, you know, I've been British sport trap champion. I, I, I can't even remember how many times it's, it's uh, I won it a lot because I, I understand the concepts that singles are different to doubles and each position is different to another one. So it's mentally draining. So tips for them all. For your free singles, two shots. Plan them out. One of them must be the best shot. When you've shot your singles, forget everything you just did. Even if you hit it on barrel one or three, in the doubles, we're going to go back to shoot it on two. We are going to take as many shots as we can in the best place. That's going to give us more success. Um, compact and five stand. Every time you move cages, retreat it like a new position. Targets you've never seen before. Replan them out. New hold points, new methods, new kill points. Do not think that they're going to be generic throughout the whole of the five stations. That's just my little tips today during lockdown. I hope you find them interesting. Sorry about the eyes. Hopefully they'll be gone. Seven o'clock tonight on Instagram. That is uh, Sunday. We're on Sunday. Um, I'm going to have one of the best gamekeepers in the country on to talk game shooting, talk us through the season. Apart from that, gang, I hope you're all being safe, being smart. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you all in the week. Be good.